Hey guys, it's your girl Miss G and as always, I'm back with another video. Patrick Day, the boxer who suffered a traumatic brain injury in a fight Saturday has died. His managing company announced. Day 27 reportedly died Wednesday at Chicago Northwestern Memorial Hospital where he was taken after collapsing in the ring at the city's Wind Trust Arena following a fight against Charles Conwell. The management company, the Bella Entertainment said they died surrounded by his family, close friends, and members of his boxing team, including his mentor, friend, and the trainer, Joe Higgins. The company previously confirmed reports that they was in a coma and underwent emergency brain surgery. Wow. Day was knocked down in the fourth and eighth rounds of the, of the bout before several punches to the head from Conroe again, again sent him to the canvas in the tenth and final round. Day was attended to by medical personnel before he was taken from the arena on a stretcher. He was reported to have remained unconscious and suffered seizure as an ambulance transported him to the hospital. On Tuesday, Conwell, his opponent, posted a lengthy message to social media about Day. He said, and I quote, I never meant for this to happen to you. All I ever wanted to do was win. If I could take it all back, I would. Conwell wrote, no one deserved for this to happen to them. I replayed the fight over and over in my head thinking, what if this never happened and why did it happen to you? Overall, I want to say rest in peace to Patrick Day and my condolences goes to his family and his friends. But um, at the same time, when it comes to boxing or football or head injury sports, people really have to take into consideration that this sport is a life-threatening you know, it's life threatening and it's like you you know what you're getting yourself into, but at the same time you don't know what you're getting yourself into. The reason I say this is because, you know, it it all looks good and all sounds good. Oh my god, I wanna be a boxer, oh my god, I wanna be a football player. But you know, the trauma, the blows to the head repeatedly, that messes you up. You can have early Alzheimer's, dementia, and even die. Look what happened to Patrick Day. And it's really sad and you know, these young men start so young with boxing from they're like 10, 11, 12 in middle school and in high school boxing or playing football and it's not right and they need to be paid more and people need to take starting start, start taking this more seriously that hey, boxing and football can kill people and damage them for the long run and end their career. Once again, a rest in peace to Patrick Day and my condolences to his family. And thank you guys for watching this.